Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today. It's the 28th of December. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So, across the news, we saw US markets edge higher again. The SP 500 is now within 0.5% away from joining the Dow at record highs. Low volumes, as one would expect during this time of year. But nevertheless, we're still seeing buyers very much in control. Advances beating decliners by approximately two to one again last night. US jobs data may influence sentiment today. That's the major headline out coming out in terms of economic news. US futures are just above neutral in Asian trading. And Asian markets are mixed with the ASX holding near two-year highs at 0.4% to the upside. Materials are outperforming. European futures are also pointing to a cautiously positive open again. US dollar index continues to look weak. It's trading at five-month lows, falling again yesterday. Consequently, of course, gold closed at all-time high, around 2080 currently on the CFD contract. Copper is also looking strong and has breached the key 393 level, sitting around about 395 at the moment, and it looks as though it may test four dollars it's sitting at eight month highs now and the buyers are most certainly in oil did pull back from its short term top of the range at 75 dollars a barrel on the wti contract but may be influenced to some degree by the eia data that's out later tonight bitcoin is trading towards the top of the trading range and may test resistance again at around about 44 400 and as well as us weekly jobs which you've already referenced we've got trade bonds and pending home sales data out of the US. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, BHP are not worthy. They've breached $50. And we talked about this being a critical psychological level for markets. A move up to $60 in the medium term might be on the cards, but in the short term, possibly a move up to this 5380 level. If we just pop it on the weekly chart, you can see why that is. This would be a potential gain from today's price of around about 5.8%, uh, but certainly a significant sentiment change, not only in this stock, but in iron ore stocks generally. On the FX front, we are keeping an eye on the Canadian dollar yen. I put the four hourly chart up. You can see the significance of this level at 107. It's just holding on at the moment. If we breach 106.90, that may indicate a change in sentiment. We've got around about a 45 to 50 pip move potential to the downside to this S2 pivot level you can see on the chart. If we look on the 30-minute chart, you can just see there a little bit choppy on the way down, uh, but uh, nevertheless, it's worthwhile being patient to see if we can breach 107. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.